Hi FlossTube, how are you? This is Nicole Buckeye Stitcher. I'm here for what I'm calling my midsummer update. I didn't get a chance to make a video last month and it's mid-July 2021 now, so I'm just gonna call it midsummer. Um, I've got quite a few things to show this time. Um, actually some purchases. Uh, so June was a really busy month. Work has still been really crazy. Things finally slowed down after 4th of July, so that's good. We're getting a little chance to breathe and get caught up on cleaning and, and those kind of things. But also in June, StitchCon happened. And we did two weekends in a row of StitchCon, so that was a lot of fun, a lot of work, um, and a lot of time to recover. So I'm not going to go into much detail about StitchCon uh, just because it's so far after the fact and I know there are tons of other videos out there uh, with you know more video and pictures and details um, but I just wanted to highlight a few things here um, in this one. So I had a great time at StitchCon. I got to see lots of old friends and meet some new people. Um, but if you just type StitchCon 2021 into the YouTube search bar you'll find lots of videos that talk um, in a lot more detail than what I'm going to show here. So let me show you my purchases. I bought two patterns. The first one is this JBW Designs Kitties in the Round. And this is actually, um, I don't know if it's officially a series, but there are more than just kitties. She's got, um, I think it's dogs in the round or puppies in the round. There's bunnies in the round. Uh, there's a Halloween one. There's a Christmas one. Uh, I know there's more than that, but those are, those are the ones I can remember. But my plan with this one is to stitch all those kitties in black except one, I'm gonna make a little gray baby. So um, she had this mounted on a little box, like a little round box. So um, I think that's a cute idea, but there are also some other displays of how some of her in the rounds were shown because um, we had a trunk show of hers at StitchCon. So I got lots of ideas for how to finish this, but first I have to stitch it. Um, the other trunk show, um, huge, huge trunk show was Teresa Kogut. Um, I've not really ever seen her things in person. Um, one of them I fell in love with is this one. This is called Fox and Friend. I love this pattern so much. It's so much cuter in person too. For as cute as it is here, it's so much cuter in person. So this was on my list of things to buy and my sweet table mates that I sat with weekend one uh, purchased this for me and left it at my seat while I was out doing StitchCon business one day. So thank you ladies very much. I had a great time laughing with you guys. Um, but the thing that's really cool about this pattern is the green background is actually the fabric. That's not stitched. That's a lakeside linen pair. Um, I think it just helps to give this a unique look and I love the, the depth, um, the perspective. So I'm looking forward to stitching this one. I don't know if I'm gonna get to it this year. Well, one, I don't have the fabric because it's hard to get. Um, I have it on order, but um, I'm looking forward to this one. There were lots and lots of trunk shows at Keepsakes, um, but those are the only two patterns I felt like I needed to have that weekend. Um, I bought two pieces of fabric. Um, so the first one was not really a choice. <laughs> so my friend Jen, Spooner Rooney Stitcher, um, helps out at the shop during StitchCon. She helps to um, find, help people find what they're looking for and, and get supplies and get checked out. And um, one morning I got a text from her that said, there's fabulous x design fabric. It's going fast. There's beautiful gray. Do you want this one or this one? And I was like oh, this isn't a yes or no question. This is a yes, this, or yes, that. Um, so I told her which one I wanted. One looked a little bit more blue in the picture, and I don't, um, sorry, they were both gray fabrics, and we know how I'm always on the hunt for the perfect gray. And one of the pictures that she sent me looked a little bit more blue than the other, and I don't really like the blue undertone fabric. Um, so she said, well, I'll put them both aside because I was gonna stop by at lunchtime. And I'm glad that I waited because when I got there in person, the opposite one was the one that was more blue. So the one that she thought I would want is not the one. Um, I ended up getting, so this is beige gray by x Design. This is a 32 count fabric. Um, there's not much modeling in this fabric, which is fine. That's, that's fine, but um, it's a very nice gray. Very, very true gray. Um, I know it's called beige gray. I don't really see any brown. Like the picture in the, that you're seeing is spot on. Um, I love this fabric. So now what to use it for. Um, the other fabric I bought, I found when I was working at Keepsakes during StitchCon. Yes, that's right. I worked one day at StitchCon. Um, I volunteered. I don't work at Keepsakes ever. I don't know where anything is. I don't know how to put colors together, but I was happy to help out for one day. One day was plenty. Um, but I was helping with fabric. Um, 
And there, during a little bit of a lull, um, one of the ladies was looking for different types of fabric, and we had a new dyer there. Um, the text says Mystic Fabrics, but I thought the name was Mystic Stitch Fabrics. Either way, um, she bought a piece of fabric called Diversity for the Stitch for Sweet Freedom pattern by um, Lindy Stitches. And so uh, it's beautiful. And I, I don't plan on stitching that pattern, but I wanted this fabric. So this is a 36 count Diversity. And it's a little bit gray, it's a little bit pinky purple, which is not typically my color. Oh, sorry. Um, but I love this, I think it's really pretty. I think it'd be great for Halloween. Um, I think I could definitely find a use for this. So, um, you know, I kind of put the brakes on buying fabric because I did that for a long time where I just bought pieces that were pretty and they're still sitting in the bin upstairs. Um, I tend to go towards neutrals, um, but this one I think I will definitely use. It's just a matter of finding the right um, pattern, but it's beautiful. So those are my purchases. I got lots of fun little gifts from a lot of different stitchers, needle minders, and um, thread holders, and those kind of things, which I'm sure you saw in other videos. But one gift that I wanted to show that I got um, was from a viewer named Lori. She uh, made this project bag for me. It's beautiful. I love the fabric. It's so fun. She quilted it and then she made this little pocket where um, you can put you know, cards that say what project it is, but she personalized it for me. Um, sorry, geez. Um, and stitched my name and the date on there. It snaps at the top, so that's unique. That's a little bit different. And I like that it's long. I like the long bags. Um, so thank you so much, Lori. It's so much appreciated. Okay. So that is StitchCon. I did actually get some stitching done at StitchCon. More, well, no, I was gonna say more in week one than week two, but I think um, it ended up being equally stitched. Um, so since StitchCon, I have finished both those product projects. So I don't really have StitchCon progress to show you, but um, these are the two projects that I stitched on during StitchCon. So the first one is I restitched this little pattern I did this last year and showed you guys um, this is the October mini sampler by from the heart needle art by Wendy um, I sent my picture a sister mm, I sent my sister a picture of my finished project and she said "Ooh, is that for me which it wasn't um, but I did make her some fall things last year and I told her I would add to it to make like a little she could put a little bowl of like pin keeps together. So I stitched it again, but I only stitched this part. I left off the, the October and the bottom leaves. That way she can put it with her other pieces and leave it out all fall. Um, it's showing kind of stripey. The pumpkin is showing a little stripey in this um, screen view. It doesn't look that stripey in real life. I'm actually pretty happy with how it looks in real life, but it does look stripier. It doesn't look that... Mm. Um, there is no way I was going to get that perfect modeling effect um, with that one. I didn't even try. But I think if I had gone up and down instead of side to side, it would have looked more like that and less stripey. But I'm happy with how that looks. Um, and I stitched that on a piece of 32 count Legacy by Picture This Plus. The other thing I worked on and finally finished last night. I finally finished this last night. I've been working on this forever. Um was Madame Chantilly, Cats in the Rain. That's what the finished piece looks like. I made two changes, one big one and one you would never know if I didn't tell you. So the obvious big change is I stitched her red coat red. That's DMC 321. And I left out two raindrops at the top. That's the one you wouldn't lose. Cause last night I was just like over the raindrops. So there's supposed to be 17, there's 15. It's fine, everything's fine. Um, this white cat has been the bane of my existence. Like if I show it to you, do you feel like he looks a little, like a little dirty white cat? I don't know if it's the fabric. I have taken it out. I have stitched it twice. I've stitched this cat three times in parts. I stitched the whole thing. I took this out and restitched it. And then I took this middle part out and stitched it with B5200 where the rest of it is just white because to me he looks dirty. Um, but I'm done. I'm not stitching him anymore. It's fine. Everything's fine. And yes, he had to be a white cat. Um, my favorite cat of all time was a mostly white and black cat. Um, and in, in hindsight, I kind of wish he used to have, he, he used to, he did have um, a little black smudge around one of his eyes. Um, and I wished I had stitched that on there, but it was, I realized it too late. Um, 
had I known I was going to take the cat out three times, then maybe I would have done it again. But um, he was my favorite cat. And so I thought about him the whole time I was stitching that little dirty white cat and he was never dirty. So anyways, it's finished. I'm going to have that one framed. She's so cute. I love her red coat. Okay. I also stitched on, well, I've stitched on two pieces for my Flower Friday Girls Round Robin. Um, we change every month. So I stitched on the June and sent it off. I have July's. I don't show those because they're not my projects. Um, what I will say is that my friends in this group are very sampler heavy. I'm having fun. <laughs> okay. I need some lipstick on. I'm looking pale today. Okay. So I forgot about my 12 and 21 October Christmas ornament sal in June because there was just too much going on. So my goal is to try and stitch two in July. So this is what I'm working on for my quote unquote June project. This is a 36 count espresso by r, &R Fabrics. Um, the pattern is a Little House Needleworks. It's called Season's Greetings. That's what it looks like. It's going pretty fast. I ran out of cherry cobbler, so I need to get more because there's those little red hearts in there. Um, but I'm I'm making good progress. I'm happy with that one. I'm happy with that one. Um, I don't have a second one picked out yet for the one that's supposed to be for July, and it's already mid-July, so I may not get two done. I may end up with 11 in 21 instead of 12 in 21, but that's okay. Okay, so that's what I've worked on. That's what I purchased. StitchCon happened. During StitchCon, I got all my finishes back from Vana, the Twisted Stitcher. Um, I wasn't expecting to get them so quickly after I sent them off. So thank you, Vana, for getting these back to me. Um, so I think I have a favorite in here, but the favorite thing of all of this is that all of these are for me. None are intended for gifts. I get to keep all of them. So I'm just going to, there's no order. I'm just going to show you the ones that I sent. And you had seen all these in a previous video, but now you get to see them finished. So here is Mary. This was a freebie on um, the hands-on, no, no, no. This was a freebie from Heart and Hand that um, you got it as an email if you um, sign up for her newsletter. This was a freebie from Snowflower Diaries. This was Year of the Rat um, to commemorate 2020. This is the one I chose to commemorate 2020 um, instead of any of the pandemic ones. I'm not gonna forget the pandemic. She's cute. All right, this is, oh, I love this one. This is, uh, I can't remember what this is called. Fireside Originals is the name of the designer. They're in Columbus. Actually, I believe that the owner of the Cross Stitch Store, Cross My Heart in Columbus, Ohio, um, is the designer of Fireside Originals. I can't remember what this is called. Something Spruce Birdhouse. I don't know. If you need to know, let me know and I'll look it up. But the buttons came with it. So the pine cone buttons and the little cardinal button came with it. That one's cute. This is a flat fold. This is an ornament, and I, this one's my favorite. So this is Cardinal on an Egg. It was a kit, but you can now buy the pattern. I know you can get it on one, two, three stitch, just the pattern. Um, this is by Bent Creek. I don't know if shops can order it or if it's exclusive to one, two, three stitch. Fabric is perfect to match that little red Cardinal. I did change the color of the Cardinal because the color that came with it was super pink no and now i can't remember what color i switched it to again if you need to know that let me know and i can look it up it's probably like buckeye scarlet or cherry cobbler probably but if you need to know let me ask me below and i'll look it up in my notes i think this one's my favorite okay back to ornaments this is a hands-on design series from a few years ago i have stitched i think this is the fourth one i've stitched this is sugar plums that one's cute. Um, the pattern came with these little accoutrements. This is a Squareology pattern, so it's a collaboration between Just Another Button Company and Hands On Design, and it was a series. I think this is the third one. I did the skates and the truck, the red truck maybe. The fabric. 
Um, so those little buttons are supposed to be those string of lights on the house. Super cute. Super cute. Okay. Oh no, this one might be my favorite ornament. So this was a limited edition JBW Designs. I think it's from 2014. And I believe it was called Deck the Halls. And everything came with it. All the finishing stuff, except for the backing fabric. Vanna picked that. Um, but the little gold star came, the fabric came, the finishing fringe, and the little bell came. And it is super cute. And it actually went pretty quickly. The tree was a little bit much. There's some chronic in that. Oh, so cute. The tree was a little bit much. And I changed the color of the shutters. The shutters were supposed to be the light green that's in the tree. And it was just too much light green. So I changed them to brown. Okay, that is it. That's a lot for me. My plan for the rest of the month is to stitch more on my Flower Friday Girls round robin and get that sent off to the next person. I need to finish my June 12 and 21 ornament and try and start a July one. And then... I have a few projects that are still ongoing that I want to get finished. Like I would like to have some new starts, but I don't like having all of the finishes. So uh, I don't know yet what I'm going to do. I haven't gotten that far in my planning. Some days it was just enough that I came home and looked at my stitching. I didn't even stitch. I just looked at it. So I hope you all are having a great summer. Um, I know up here in the Northern Hemisphere, it's been pretty miserably hot in a lot of places. So I hope everybody's staying safe and staying cool. In the southern hemisphere, uh, Michelle, I know you're getting chilly. I missed you this summer, but hopefully next year is a better year. Um, so everybody take care, and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.